Uh, I've taken off the um, control arm bolt, this one. This one's pretty easy. This one comes off pretty relatively easy. Now, that back one on most BAs, that back one there you can just see, it's up against the fuel tank there. That's very difficult. Um, you, can, you can undo the nut, which is here, the nut's here. What I've been doing is, it's very difficult, but what I've been doing, getting the spanner in there and gently levering it sideways underneath this arm. So you lift this arm up and you kind of, I can't get the camera in there, but you kind of lever it sideways like that. Lever it sideways as best you can. Um, to get that bolt out that's like right in behind there. So yeah, that's the bolt that I'm trying to get off. The control arm. Um, you can drop the diff and do other things, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, so I'm trying, trying to take it off a different way. But it's a bit difficult. I might have to drop the diff. It's stuck in there. There's not much room. It's stupid design, really. There's actually more room on. There's a, more room on that side where the nut came off the bolt than there is where the bolt goes in. It's just a stupid design fault, I think, in my opinion. Because you're so close, like you get it out that far, and you just can't get it out any further unless you keep pushing it up against the fuel tank. I did notice that the fuel tank's got a tiny little bit of movement, play, but not much. So if I keep working it out, I might be able to actually get it out. Um, and I'm thinking about putting it in the other way because that way is just absolutely shit to get off. It's a real pain in the ass. Okay, so I've discovered here a new uh, way to get the bolt out. So this control arm has to be up out of the way. So you've undone this one, that's easy. Very easy. Not very easy, but hard to crack, but easier. The main problem is that bolt that you can see just, just through there. That touches the gas tank. Now. I've had a way around that problem and realistically it should be in the other way um, it's like putting the stupidest place possible up against the gas tank there because it's like impossible to get it out so my idea that I've come up with pretty simple you get a whole lot of spanners you make sure every spanner fits tight like that and you got this little bit of like the bolt and you literally, you get all the spanners, you get all the spanners that you can possibly get in there, into that, yeah. in there, into the bolt, into the bolt there, if I can see it. Anyway, you, you have, you literally have to hold the control arm up with your head and get all the spanners in there onto that bolt there and push it push it sideways like that so push it that way and lever that bolt out um, that's how I got around it that's pretty much almost out now and you just you just keep adding spanners until you get it fully out um, and you just keep sliding it sliding it sideways that way like that way until you get it out and then when you get it out you don't put it back in that way at all well, I'm not going to anyway. I'm going to put it in from the other way and put the nut on this this tight side where the where the um, where the gas tank is and put just something. I might even cut the bolt a little bit shorter uh, and put something just on the side to stop the gas tank rubbing against it um, because that that's why I'm assuming they put it in that way because you know the bolt the bolt goes in next to the gas tank that way. And if you have it the other way around, you've got this little sharp bit on the end here that's flat anyway, 
rub it against the gas tank. Maybe. I don't know. But it's really a stupid design fault, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get the control arm out without, hopefully, without dropping the diff and all the other stuff that's in the way. And to get it back in, there's more room on that side over there. You can just see pass through there underneath the control arm there there's more room to slide the bolt in from that side um, and that's what I'm hopefully going to do over there and slide it in from that way uh, when it was when it's coming out the opposite direction so I'll see how I go with that um, and I've given someone some help somewhere who obviously have the same problem on the uh, BA um, rear suspension on the Fords, so yeah, hope this helps someone, uh, help me by just learning that I could put all these spinners together like a wedge and just lever it. I couldn't get, any, I couldn't use anything else. I've tried pliers, I've tried just about everything else, um, and I didn't really want to hit the gas tank uh, with a screwdriver or anything like that. And I couldn't really, because the angles and everything in the way, I couldn't really get the screwdriver in there. So, yeah, you pretty much lift that up with your head and use, use like, literally on top of each other, like that, as many spanners as, as you need, and just gently lever it sideways while holding this up. And hopefully it will come out for you too. It takes a bit of time, that's all. Um, but, yeah. If you can do it that way, that'll be that's probably the easiest, and and don't put the bolt back in the same way. Uh, well, you can't anyone anyway. once you take it out. You can't physically get the bolt back in there. It's just you can't. Um, so it's got to go in the other way anyway. So just like that, I got the bolt out, and that whole arm is just now sitting there. This whole arm is ready just to come straight out. So I'll give that a tug, and there it is. And that's out of its hole. So I feel like I've actually accomplished something then, all on my own. <laughs> that's finally out. So you got your gas tank there, and the problem is that this bolt, this bolt here, is pretty much put in the hole that way. So you're hitting up against your gas tank there. Um, to get that out, I literally just use spanners, levering it, and then when you get it out far enough, you can actually push it with your finger uh, while holding the control arm up. Push it with your finger that way, and keep pushing, and you feel it getting looser and looser, and then you can just pull it out straight out. Um, yeah, so that's good. Just be, just be careful that it doesn't like get wedged in between your gas tank and your and your thing in, on the other side there. So just be careful of that. Just hold on to the end of the bolt and don't let it drop. Uh, but apart from that, it's out, and I'm going to I'm going to actually put it in from the other side. So I'm actually going to put it in where there's where there's more space. I'm going to put it in this way and put the nut on the other side. Um, I think that's the way it really should go, to be honest. But I'm not a mechanic, but it makes more sense if it goes that way. Another thing I want to point out is if it's hard to align this up again which was a little bit difficult for me um, and I didn't actually know how to do it until I trialled and aired it so you actually have to push this whole whole wheel up as hard as you can and then you gently what I did was gently hammer the top of this down into it where it was like really close to being aligned and then you can put your bolt through um, so yeah you actually ideally you want a jack under here well, probably under here actually where the arm is to lift this up um, if you don't have a jack try and like do it what I did because I've only got that one the old scissor jack but yeah try and do what I did and, and how I did it was I just pushed up on that as hard as I could and then push that like into place and I'm just gonna push it down a bit more like that to align that bolt to get that bolt in and it'll be hopefully all sweet and it's just a matter of twisting and turning it sideways a little bit and getting it right so the bolt lines up and it all bolts back in and uh yeah so i'll do that now so there's the bolt i've just put it in from the other way in now and it actually 
does not touch the gas tank. You can't really see it, but it's actually not touching the gas tank at all. Um, yeah, so that's the new control arm in. And uh, I put it in, I put that bolt in from the other side. You can't really see it, it's all dark, but yeah. Another little handy trick I'd use to keep the uh, arm up out of the way while I was getting the bolts undone is uh, just a spanner. Spanner in there, probably a, as long as you can, but this is, was a little, this is only what I had, and just gently rest it there. So you don't have to hold it with your head um, as you're undoing the bolts. So yeah, because you kind of get, get your hands under, around the bottom and all that, and it's tight. and. It's just more easier with the spanner, but you can use your head if you want to. It's up to you. So another thing I want to point out is, um, that I forgot to do, is this bracket has to go on that bolt before that bolt goes in the hole and you line everything up. Uh, so, yeah, that's really fun. Because now I'm going to take the bolt out again after I've just aligned it and just about to tighten everything up. So anyhow, also how I lined it was also putting a, a spanner in there and getting that that right as well when you get the height like when you when you pull it push it up and you get the height right then you just use a spanner to push it sideways to get the rest of it like in place. Um, I learnt that trick just now pretty much just trial and error um, but yeah I forgot the clip so <laughs> So that's got to go on the bolt first to hold the brake line in place like that so that goes on your bolt first then your bolt goes in then you get aligned then you screw everything up tight and then it's done anyway also the caliper i haven't taken off all the way but i've taken off the second bolt there you can see um the first bolt i mean and the second bolt's just sitting there um, just enough room so I can actually get this bolt in and out back in